Okay, everybody, good Thursday evening. Happy Kwanzaa one more time. This is the fifth day of Kwanzaa. Uh, just to pick back up on where we left off um, last night or day before yesterday, uh, we talked about the seven principles. We started with the first one, which was uh, Umojo, which means unity. Kuji Chagalia, which means self-determination. Ujama, which means working together and uplifting each other. Ujama, which means cooperative economics. And we're tonight at Nia, Anaya, however you want to pronounce it, spelled N I A, which means purpose. And as I told you last night, that was probably one, one of my favorite uh, principles. It's the one that is to me is so important to know where you are in life to know what your purpose is what you should be doing what you should be pursuing so without further ado we're going to pursue this meal tonight and just again to come back to say to you happy kwanzaa everybody hope you're celebrating or at least uh trying to find out some more information so that you can celebrate so let's get back over here on the stove I've got all my uh, goodies laid out for fish tacos. Okay, I've got some salad greens here, some tomatoes, some cheese, uh, some yum yum sauce, sour cream, and over there, of course, I've got the uh, fish strips uh, with my buttermilk bath to dip them in, and then I'm going to dip them in flour, and then I'm going to be frying them in that um, olive oil. I'm going to be using two different olive oils. One is a black truffle olive oil, and the other one is a Bertoli organic olive oil. So we're going to olive oil them up tonight. So hang in there with me. Stay tuned. If you want to, if you got some fish that you can slice up right quick. Now this fish is, um, I was going to say tilapia. It's definitely not tilapia. My fish is, um, well, I can't even think of the name of my fish favorite fish it'll come to me in just a few minutes but what i want to do is go ahead and get started because this grease is hot and i'm hungry and i'm ready to start eating so what i've done first here is um i've got my buttermilk bath ready i've seasoned my fish strips uh with my usual seasoning um this time i put lemon pepper on it complete seasoning some uh onion powder garlic powder if you want to put salt you can do so salt to taste so we're going to dip these uh, little fish strips first in the buttermilk bath and then i'm going to put them in my little flour bag here and we're going to soon have us some fish taco and remember when you're cooking uh, with the milk of any kind remember you got to be very careful about the heat okay so you want the heat up high so they'll crisp and and uh, cook real good, but you don't want them to burn before they finish cooking. So let's go ahead and get this. I probably should have gotten a bigger bag. What do y'all think? Y'all vote, please. Why did I get this little, little tiny bag? But that's okay. Since I've got it, we're going to have to make it work for the time being. Okay. And again, if you don't have buttermilk, a lot of people just don't have buttermilk sitting around in their refrigerator. If you don't have buttermilk, remember any kind of uh, regular whole milk that you have sitting in the fridge just take it pour it in a container and then pour some lemon juice in it and it'll turn it'll curdle what it's a curling process it'll curdle and it'll taste just like regular butter milk and you know what i can't remember who told me that little trick but it works just fine y'all it works real fine Okay, I've got something going on here. Y'all hold on one second for it. Okay, y'all, I am back. I'm getting ready to put these uh, fish strips into this hot grease. Look, I have to confess, honey, what I did. That, now, I know somebody saw me, so I know somebody with that hawk eye was looking right at me and saw what happened. When I shook that uh, meal, this is, a, a, by the way, this is half flour, half meal. That's what I'm using with this fish. Uh, but anyway, I poured the flour mixture into my veggies, honey. So I had to go retrieve my veggies and straighten them back out. I know somebody saw me. But anyway, whether you did or didn't, that's what I was doing. That's what I had to go off camera to do. 
you know, things happen in the kitchen. I tell you, all kinds of mishaps can happen in the kitchen when you're cooking. So, you know what, and, and I tell people all the time, that's why people who cook, you say, you say, oh, I don't care about the kitchen. No, nobody needs to be in the kitchen while you're really uh, prepping and, uh, you know, putting your food together. I don't like to be proud of the kitchen because I'm so focused on what I'm doing. And having somebody in there, I'm trying to talk to them and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, anyhow, that's what happened, y'all. I poured batter on my veggies. And I went, that was just not what I was intending to do. So we're going to get these all fried up here, y'all. I'm using my hands here. There I am. This is just so much easier because I got this little bag. These are going to be so good, y'all. My fish tacos. And what all I'm doing is just frying the fish up. And I'm going to put all these veggies and this sauce on them. And they're going to be really, really good. And I've got a few of um, those potato patties that I did last night, the, uh, the potato hash browns. I got a few of those guys. I'm going to go ahead and cook those too. I think, and I only got like three. I think I've got three left. Two three will gladly eat. So I'm going to go ahead and cook those. And that's what we're going to have with these fish tacos. Let me get my hands cleaned up here. Seems like anything I do with flour is just, I told y'all, anytime I use flour, I make a mess. So we're going to get these fried up and I will be right back. Okay, y'all, everything is cooking nicely. My fish is nice and golden brown and out of the pan. Got my toppings there some um, hash rounds here and that's what we're going to do for dinner so we're going to put this all together and this is going to make a nice little dinner we got a, a protein a veggie and a starch so we, we're doing good and we're going to have some uh, oh I bought this carrot cake from Sam's Club it is wonderful if you're a carrot cake person and I, I didn't really know I was until I tasted Sam's carrot cake so now I'm a carrot cake person okay so anywho, y'all, we're just about done with this meal. It's short and sweet and uh, something, you know, like I said, during the holidays, not cooking a whole lot of food, but I do know that I do have to cook uh, for my grandson and myself. So I might as well share with you all as well. So, okay, we're just about done. These uh, Potato cakes ought to be done in another couple, three minutes. This is just something, like I said, just something very simple. And this is also some of the uh, types of food that I was uh, helping my grandson to learn how to prepare. Um, hopefully, you know, he'll, he says that in, when he gets his real estate up and, and running, he's going to leave the area. And so he's not getting married right away, so he needs to know how to prepare meals. He's not here right now for me to show him this little short or uh, quick one. But this is the type of meals that I've been teaching him how to cook. As well as, well, like I said, he learned how to do pork chops and um, things like that. But meals like this are good for the holidays. Kids love them. They're a fan favorite. They're a kid's favorite. And, and they're, they're healthy and they're good. And of course, I'm frying this in olive oil. So, not all bad. Everything fried is not all that bad. Um... Okay, so these are just about to come out of the grease, y'all, here shortly. And I'm going to start putting my uh, fish taco together. I think I'm going to have a couple. I'm hungry tonight, y'all. I don't see. Kareem and I had omelets early this morning for breakfast. So those omelets are long gone. And I am ready for a couple of nice tacos. Yum, 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 yummy. Mm. You know that uh, black truffle olive oil, I don't know if I've ever had any before, as far as, you know, by that name. But it has like a little, different little uh, 
flare to it that I really like. I'm going to remove this from the stove and go ahead and sit it in the oven. That's another little trick, y'all, when you're cooking, stove hot and everything, set that hot skill on in the oven so you can use that space. So I'm going to put a trivet there so I won't burn my hand. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my tacos together. I have some, um, this is supposed to be a uh, carb balanced spinach herb wraps. So I'm going to be using those wraps. And I'm just going to wrap up me a couple of, just stick you a couple pieces of fish in there. Um, this is some yum yum sauce, which I love, love, love. It tastes really good on uh, stuff like this to me. And, you know, you can just make them plain if you want to. But if you don't want any, you know, anything in particular on them. So, lots of nice veggies. And this is a, a kale mixture of veggies that I'm putting on here, y'all. Some tomato. Just chop up some tomatoes. Put on there. Of course, y'all know I got some cheese. Got some cheese to go on here. And that's going to be a great meal for me. I tell you what, I cannot wait to get into this. We're going to put some cheese in there. Okay. I need some salsa. I don't, you know, I cannot believe that I don't have some homemade salsa. Now, y'all know I almost always have me some homemade salsa. But today, I don't have any homemade salsa. I'm going to put me a little bit of jerk uh, seasoning on there. Just to bump it up a little bit. And I'm going to have to find some salsa, y'all, from somewhere. I, I know I've got some that I bought in the jar. So, y'all, hold on. I'll be right back. I found some paste chunky salsa. I hope it's not. It's medium. Okay, so it's not the hot one. So, I'm just going to slather me some of that on. Ooh, it's going to be good to me. Yes, yes, yes. So, you know what? That's it. And then I'm going to set me a potato patty right there. And my dinner is ready, y'all. I am ready to dig in and eat my fish taco. Listen, guys, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for your prayers, world wishes. Uh, thank y'all for continuing. Whoop, I'm about to have a mishap. About to turn the whole apple cart upside down. Y'all know I had to do it one time before I left. But as I was saying, thank you all so much for your comments, compliments, and well wishes. And most of all, thank y'all for praying without ceasing with and for me and my family as I continue to pray for you all. I love you all so much. Hope you've had a beautiful, wonderful Christmas celebration. Looking forward to New Year's and celebrating Kwanzaa right now. Uh, Remember to continue to pray without ceasing. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. And do something kind for someone. If you haven't already done it, and if you have, just continue to do it throughout. I don't know what that music is in the background, but I lay no claim to it. It's on some commercial or rather. I don't know what it is. It's not mine. Anyway, y'all. One top and I forgot y'all. A little bit of sour cream. I love these squeeze ones. Just a little bit of uh, sour cream. How about that, y'all? So listen, guys. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Pray without ceasing. Do something kind for someone. Love one another, most of all, as God asks us to do. And have no other God before him. So as I sign off tonight, it's late. I'm hungry. And if you all were cooking along with me, you're ready to get to your food, too. So thanks again for y'all listening. Thank for all my new subscribers. Thank y'all for continuing to send me comments, compliments. I am getting to answering them. You know, this is a busy season, so I'm going to take a day and sit down and do nothing but just answer uh, comments. So thank y'all for continuing to hang in there. Thank you again, like I said, for my new subscribers. Thank y'all for always hanging in there with me. Thank you for the cards and the well wishes during the holidays listen guys until i decide to cook again oh and by the way keep up with uh the kwanzaa celebration give me some feedback on it thank y'all for hanging in there with me now love you guys 
Toodaloo. Keep those prayers going up now and pray without ceasing. Love you.